right, we are joined by Drexel head coach Denise Dillon and student athletes Gabriella Marginian, Andrea Peterson, Brooke Cornish, and Nicole Hester. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Dillon, and then we'll take questions for student athletes and coach. Please make sure to raise your hand. Uh, I, I just can't tell you how happy I am for this group of girls. Uh, they worked from start to finish to accomplish this goal that they set. They had set in their heads, and for to my left right here, the main reason for it. So all them, you can talk with them. Question? I, I guess this goes to all of you, but did you ever think at the beginning of the season, considering Old Dominion <laughs> and 17 straight titles, that you would be in this press conference right now with a bunch of rope around you <laughs> for the Nets? Did you ever think that was possible? Uh, I always think things are possible, but I didn't even know there was a press conference. Like <laughs> I couldn't thought that, but uh, yeah, we always had high hopes. Um, but Old Dominion's tough, so it's always on the back of our mind. Definitely struggled through the preseason. And for all the players, can you talk about um, what went on when Gabriel went out um, for the two long stretches, and why you guys were able to execute so well still? Well, we know. Um, what they always talk about Gabby is obviously you know the best player on the team, and when she goes when she goes out of the game, someone else has to step up. And I think we've come together from the beginning of the season and came together as a team, and we realize now that when she does go out, that somebody else needs to step up and take control. And that's what we have done throughout the season as a team and as a whole. And that's why I think we've been successful, you know, the way we have. <clears throat> um, when they were making that run and the crowd was getting whipped up and all that stuff, and they kept getting closer and closer. How nice was it to see her, you know, earn her Player of the Year award at the free throw line? I think she was ten for ten in the last ninety six seconds. Uh, I'll be thankful. Uh, obviously, you want to get the ball in the hands of the player that's more comfortable from the free throw line, uh, and we always look to Gabby and Petey uh, for that down the stretch. Uh, yes, uh, it, it was key. We knew we were struggling to put the ball in the basket with some of our plays. Their defense stepped up, and they were knocking down some tough shots. So. Uh, to get her to the foul line, it's um, you don't want to say a guarantee, but today with the 14-14, there's a reason she was number one in the nation last year from the free throw line. That's where she wants to be. Gabrielle, after the game, you went over and uh, shook Coach Brooks's hand while everyone else was celebrating uh, midcourt. Why did you think to do that? Why did I do what? You went over and, and shook hands with, with their coaches while everybody else was in the middle of the floor. Because that's a good sportsmanship, so... We finished the game, but we still have to congratulate the other team. They play hard, so it's the right thing to do. Even though the Jamie coach didn't shut my hand, so he did, he did not. Yeah, I pulled him back. <laughs> Gabrielle, could you just talk about the free throw shooting at the end? I mean, you you'd sat for two long stretches, and then you you know come back fresh, I guess, fresher than everybody else, and um, they kept fouling you and. Um, it was like you were in your sleep doing it. it was... To my surprise, I wasn't even nervous. I knew how to shoot the foul shots. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could make them, so I wasn't nervous at all. Uh, well, that might be a couple questions, so just interrupt me. But first off, Coach, what did you tell your girls at, at halftime when they're only 20 minutes away from winning this title? Did you say anything specific, or did you say go out there and just do what you've been doing the entire time? Uh, well, we break the game down into uh, four-minute segments. So we told them they just finished uh, five games, and they have five more to play. So five four-minute segments, uh, and it was on them. If they came out and continued to do what we needed to do, stick together, make things happen, then you'll be happy dragons. If not, uh, let them make their run. Uh, we don't rebound the ball. It's just going to go the opposite. It's pretty black and white uh, when it comes down to coaching, especially with these girls with the experience they have. So we just keep it simple, do our thing, and uh, looking for the win at the end.